Hey guys, so today I have the HSF Tools HF96. This is a thermal camera that I have been using for the past couple of weeks and I've been very happy with it. I wanna thank HSF Tools for providing this sample to me for my honest opinion, so today I'm gonna to give that to you. Inside of the box, you get the main unit itself, which is very nice and portable. It's got a handheld size with a good grip to it that feels very comfortable in your hand. On the front here, you have your main power button and some up and down arrows and a back button. On the top, you have your USB-C port for charging. There's also a wristband here that you can cinch down with this. And then there's actually a threaded hole here if you'd like to place this on a tripod. You also get a USB charging cable and it has this little USB-A adapter so you can go from USB-A to USB-C on either end pretty easily. They also give you a user manual a thank you card, and a calibration certificate. So using this as a piece of cake, it's super straightforward. Just press and hold this main power button and it will turn right on. Give it a second. Once you turn it on, it will calibrate itself and all of these different numbers will pop up. So in the center of the screen, there's a little crosshair and that is the center. And then the max is going to be the red icon. And then the minimum is going to be this blue icon. So basically whatever you're pointing at, it will determine what is the coldest and hottest and what is the center temperature. And it will kind of jump around based on the actual live data that it's picking up. So if you want to go into the settings, simply push this button here. You have your albums, your emissivity, your distance, display settings, color distribution, super resolution, a bunch of different palettes you can choose, level and span, alarm, temperature range, capture mode, and there's even more settings with laser, auto power off, auto sleep, about, save logs, format storage, or restore device. You can even set the language. So basically all you gotta do is point it and then there's a little trigger here and you just click that and you'll see a little laser and that's pinpointing exactly where your thermal camera is pointing. And it will actually take a picture. So every time I push that trigger, You'll see it says capture successful. So let's test it out on this toaster oven here. I will push it on and then you can see right in the center it's reading just over 750 degrees and on the countertop here it's 67 degrees. So you can actually change the palette on the fly just by pushing the up and down arrows when you have it pointed at whatever you'd like to snap a picture of. So we'll go here and I'll push the trigger Capture succeeded. We'll do another one here. It's just over 900 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go, another capture. Now I'll do my kitchen faucet here. You can see the center is about 60 degrees or so. We'll do a click and it will capture. And like I said, you can change the colors on the fly. Very easy to do. Take a few more snaps. So now let's go into the albums. I'll hit the power button here. And then there's albums. We'll hit the power button again. And you can see the folder and all of the different images that it took. We'll just select one of these here. And there you go, there's the toaster. It has all the statistics on there of the temperature that it captured. This thing is very accurate and it has a very amazing build quality. I've had no issues with it in the time that I've tested it. In fact, I'm very, very happy with it. I love the form factor and the feel. Overall, if you're looking for a really nice thermal camera, the HF96 from HFS Tools is definitely the one to consider. I've been extremely happy with this, and I think you guys will be too.